Hello, everyone. I'm Ed Carney. I'm Apple Valley Chamber President for Apple Valley. And we just went with Facebook Live today because we want to be sure to get a message to you. First of all, um, I would like to say that about two weeks ago, we sent a letter to the governor, myself and three of our neighboring chambers, and we were on the front page of the Dakota County Tribune. We we're the lead story for that, and this was in his hands three days before they made the decision for phase three. Uh, today, we're hoping to just to go a little bit further with that, and uh, we have businesses such as uh, Bogarts here in Apple Valley, Bowling Alley, and they've only been open one day, gymnasiums, uh, salons, and uh, restaurants, and bowling alleys, and many, many other businesses have been so limited. Just to give you an idea of uh, trying to survive, um, they just put $150,000 into redoing all of the uh, bowling alley here as far as with the seating and all the ball exchanges, everything's new, clean, all your balls, everything are um, uh, cleaned before you are even receiving them and uh, they put a lot of money into it. They've lost almost a half a million dollars just during the COVID crisis so far. So this is, we want to draw attention to this. Uh, we really want you to realize the impact. Entertainment and recreation is down 61% with employment, 75% down with restaurants and uh, bars and that. So it's really hitting our town really, really hard. We ask that you consider buying local, and by that, uh, come on, if you look around here, as Fabiana just showed you. Um, it's plenty of spacing here with everybody. You get your kids down here during the day. Chris is gonna talk about a program they have for kids. But we want you to come out in Apple Valley, buy local again. Apple Valley is ready. Minnesota is ready. We think that as long as they follow all the parameters, be it the six feet and all the other parameters, that everybody should be able to go with equal capacity. Why them 25%? and many other businesses, and then others are 50%. We just want consistency. Just as important, what we're really looking for in the end is our city has great inspectors at every level. Why can't if somebody makes all the uh, investments and follows all the parameters of spacing and PPE and everything, that the city can't come, all the cities, and say, yes, business, yes, restaurant, you've taken all the steps, you can open ahead of others. We also want to say, while businesses are all ready, the public has to step up just as much and wear these masks as often as you can, just about everything. With that, um, I'd like to introduce Chris, uh, in charge of marketing here for the bowling alley. Chris, it's all yours. Thanks, Ed. We appreciate everything that you and the chamber has done to try to promote local businesses and trying to get them all reopened. Um, we just think that we, we have spent so much time preparing to reopen. We have spent so much time on our uh, preparedness plan that we think we, we should be able to open up to a higher capacity than 25% of the bowling alley and still be able to maintain a safe environment for everyone. And uh, we just need everyone to come out and support the local businesses now that we've gotten the uh, go ahead to open. Uh, we've been open for one day. Business was pretty good yesterday. It's a little bit slower today. But uh, anything that uh, anyone can do to come out and support us, we'd appreciate it. We also have the Kids Bowl Free program, which uh, any kid 15 and under is able to uh, sign up and get two free games every day in the summer. So that's a great way to uh, get out of the house now that school is out. So um, that's all I have. I'd also like, I would also like to tell you that Tasha Wells, our board chair, is right here. Just wave and say hello. Hey. She certainly buys local. She's down in town buying everything all the time. Uh, we appreciate it. Today, with this um, live Facebook, I want you to know that this is 50. That's 5 oh, 50 chambers around the state at 3 p.m. today are all highlighting someone in their town. And uh, we are as well. We'll also put this out to everyone. And we really, really, really appreciate that you took the time to listen now for a few minutes. And please buy local. We need you more than ever right now. Our community completely depends on it. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.